Hi, and welcome to the full-time travel vlog of Dave, Lori, Luna, and Dr. Zayas. This week, we're taking you to one of our favorite places so far. It was on our bucket list, Grand Teton National Park. We were able to score the coveted Upper Teton View boondocking site, and the views were totally worth the road getting up there, but it wasn't easy. Another road that wasn't easy, but it was amazing, was Teton Pass. We took it from Idaho over into Jackson, 10% grade. It's a 17 mile pass. This is early in the morning and it's through a dirty windshield. Sorry about that, but just wanted to give you something to cool you off back at home. It was 42 when we woke up. We got up so early so that we could beat the first ferry over to the other side of Jenny Lake and have the trails kind of to ourselves. Log of death. <laughs> Go ahead. That's a big log. <laughs> you can't teach that, that's instinct. shooting all of this on my little old ancient iPhone. Um, I'm sorry that it's a little bumpy and bouncy. So Scotty, if you're listening, uh, if we have enough yay Scotty gays, maybe one of these days we can invest in a GoPro and it won't be so uh, jiggly. <laughs> Go Scotty. Go Scotty. The Jellystone was awesome and we've seen some cool stuff, but right now this trail, just me and you on it. And I mean, look at this. So far, this is probably my favorite thing. Yeah. This is incredible. I think I tend to agree. Apparently the deer in Wyoming don't believe in social distancing. But it really was a little bit of trail magic. Young mule deer doe, probably within 10 feet of us. David gets snack on the trail snack. from Demos. <laughs> There's some little poop right there. And it's a bear. It's, I don't know. We're going to get the heck out of here. I think. stunts. I don't know why Dave is always so attracted to logs. Hmm. What would Freud say? I don't know. <laughs> so apparently David can't resist logs and I can't resist picking huckleberries. We headed into the town of Jackson briefly because I needed to find some new hiking boots. We've been hiking so much that my old ones, well, to be fair, they were a few years old, are just about worn out. If you're in Grand Teton, don't forget to go to Mormon Row. It's where the Mormon settlers first came to that area, and it's stunning. That barn is photographed. It's the most photographed barn in the world. I don't know. I would believe it is.
set the record straight. Yesterday, Lori set the alarm. And today, Lori set the alarm. Why? Because David doesn't know how. It's a phone. Um, but we got up early again. It was still a 45 minute schlep to get over here. But look at the result. And we haven't seen another person. Isn't that cool? Yeah, where are we? Uh, Phelps Lake which is in the Rockefeller Preserve just outside the park. Let's see. We're at Phelps Lake. It's 8.38 a.m. It's above 40 degrees. Time for snack. Another area in Grand Teton that you don't want to miss is Schwabacher's Landing. It's um, full of wildlife and it's kind of quiet and serene. You can get some of those iconic shots of the mountains reflected in the water if you go early in the morning or late in the evening or when it's not windy. We're hiking the Hermitage Trail Hermitage, right? At Coulter mm -hmm. Bay? This morning. If I had this morning to do over, I would have packed a thermos of coffee and brought it up here. This is the most peaceful, beautiful spot early in the morning. It's the little pond that's on the way to Hermitage Lake. I can't remember the name of the little pond, but you'll find it. So we're getting back into the woods where the bears are. If um, if we get attacked by a bear, you're in ahead. So if you get attacked, do you want me to stop filming yeah. or start filming? Film. Film. Okay. Get it on film. Get it on That's film. Live action. There's two more subscribers. <laughs> two. two. All right. Anything for that? What? Join us next time and you'll hear Lori say, You are the grossest thing in my life.